Hey guys, welcome back to Geeky Greenhouse. Today, I'm gonna talk all about using grow bags in the garden. So we have a lot of experience using grow bags in the garden, and I wanna talk about all of the things that we love about using them, as well as some of the things that make them not so great. I'll also go over a few things that grow really well in grow bags. If you're not familiar, they are these breathable fabric bags that pretty much serve the same purpose as a container in the garden. They're definitely gaining a lot of popularity because they're so lightweight and breathable and easy to use. So let's go over some of the advantages of using fabric grow bags in the garden. Probably the biggest advantage is the concept of air pruning. So these bags are made of a really breathable fabric, which allows the air to easily access the roots, which results in a healthier root system. You don't have to worry about your plants becoming pot bound because once the roots reach the edges of the bag, they stop growing altogether, compared to a rigid plastic pot where the roots are gonna continue to grow in a circle. Another great benefit of using grow bags in the garden is how lightweight they are and how easy they are to move around. These bags have handles, making them really easy to move them around to different spots in the garden, and you might want to do this for different reasons. If you're not sure where the final plant should go, you can easily move it, and you can also make the most of small areas like balconies, patios, and decks. Another great benefit is that overwatering is less of an issue. The excess water easily comes out of the sides and the bottom, so if you're the kind of person that overwaters your plants, you will less likely have that problem because of how quickly the water drains out. Another benefit of using grow bags, similar to containers, is that you have complete control over your soil. So you can run experiments in different bags or, you know, decide what kind of potting mix you want to use in each one. One more advantage before we get into some of the drawbacks is how easy they are to store at the end of the season. So you can simply hose these off or put them in the washing machine and make sure you let them air dry and then you can just pack them away. Unlike containers which take up a lot of space, these fold down nice and small so they're a lot easier to store and they take up less space. Now I want to talk about some of the disadvantages of using grow bags in the garden. One of the biggest drawbacks by far is the fact that grow bags definitely dry out a lot quicker. It's very important that you stay on top of watering. We notice that we have to water our plants much more frequently, especially if it's not naturally raining outside. Even compared to using plastic containers, there is a significant difference in the amount that we have to water. And one thing that helps a little bit is using a nice light layer of mulch on the top of the plant that does help with moisture retention, but you definitely have to stay on top of checking the soil to make sure the plant doesn't dry out. There are a few automatic watering systems that you can use. You can use watering stakes directly in the grow bag itself. And we've also seen people pile the bags up in their kiddie pools with a little bit of water at the bottom to help water the plants while they're away for a few days. So while the good drainage is definitely a benefit, if you let your plants dry out, the soil can become hydrophobic and then the water is just gonna come spilling out the bottoms and the sides before it can adequately soak into the soil. Another disadvantage is that they definitely rip and tear over time. For extra durability, you wanna make sure that you're getting a high quality grow bag that's made of non-woven material. I'll leave a link in the description below to our favorite brand, and they do seem to hold up much better than some of the cheaper brands that you can get. However, they definitely don't last forever and they don't last as long as other containers. Later in the season, we've also noticed chipmunks and squirrels chewing holes in our grow bags, so that is something to consider as well. Another disadvantage is that they can get really moldy. If you live in a climate that's humid or gets a lot of rain, they can actually grow mold and algae and it doesn't look great even though it's not harmful to the plant. Speaking of not looking great, grow bags are definitely not aesthetically pleasing. They don't look as great as a container or a ceramic pot in the garden. However, they are built for their practical benefits, being able to move them around and being lightweight, as opposed for their aesthetics. We definitely prefer the seven gallon as opposed to the five because we noticed the five gallon grow bags were knocking over very frequently in the wind, even when we were watering our plants on a regular basis. Also worth noting is where you place them. You definitely don't want to place your bags directly on top of grass or dirt because the roots will grow right through the bottom. So you want to make sure you're placing them on a hard surface. We had this issue with one of our pepper plants. We lifted the grow bag only to find the roots were just growing right through the bottom into the ground. Now that I've gone over some of the benefits and drawbacks, what can you plant in your grow bags? Well, you can plant anything that you would plant in a regular container. Some of our favorite things to plant are herbs, veggies, lettuce, and even flowers. Things like potatoes are also great, and they even make grow bags that have flaps on the side that you can flip down and easily see the root system. 
If you're wondering what size grow bag to use for what plant, we have a really convenient printable chart. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. If you have any experience using grow bags in the garden, let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know how they worked out for you and what you grew. I think we do prefer containers as well as in-ground planting, but we do appreciate how practical grow bags are and they definitely have their use in the garden. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.